Hello everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. In this one, we're going to take a look at the power plant. Um, it is open, I'm hoping that we can get through the whole thing. Otherwise, I've wasted my time coming here. Magma! Yeah! Hey! <laughs> Straight off the bat. I've been wanting you all game. I missed you in... Uh... What is it? Should we see? Damn it, that did not work. Damn! Well, that was perfect there. Come on then. Hey, that worked. Cool. That's my way. Done. Now, we're not going to be doing any chains in here. Not right now. I'll save it all for later. I don't know what she. I'm going to have to decide which good Pokemon on. Cool. It's like a good Dragonair up. Having Lapras Follow is cool for while we're on the water, but it's uh, just not, not that relevant very often. What? 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 I guess Pikachu wants to play, right? Hello, Ace Trainer. I love my job. Here I come. Okay! Hello, Mabel. Mm, nice and easy. Oh, it's rock type, it's gonna be immune. No, it's not. What? I thought it was rock type. That's weird. Well, I'll take that happy accident. <laughs> I was sure the rock typing would. Uh... Oh, he wants to learn drill run. Drill run is. Clash strong. It's definitely a drill attack. Switched for Lapras. I'm going to have to use Bubble Beam. Cassian was too. Should do. I've got Surf. Haha, <laughs> I'll do. It's faster. That's interesting. Wait, what? Why is it super effective? What? I should have scored there. Flying rock time. Oh, we got splish splash. Pikachu's gonna be fine, I just want to give Lapras a chance to fight. Annihilated by rock time. That's interesting. Must have something to do with the ice. I don't realize what ice was weak to, to rock types. Hmm, that's interesting. Capital. Can't type on this. I've always liked how that looks. Shame I've never thought it was a good Pokemon. I feel like it's got a scythe I like, isn't it? What? <laughs> okay.
What's this doing? Nothing. Uh, it's going to be awkward going back to the Pokemon Center. I should put me down in Lapras there. Look at that health it's got as well. It needs level. I'm going to have to revive it. I guess all that flinching was working against it. Technically, it's catching all told, don't we? Just trying to search this. Oh, I might find that. You think you? Red candy again? Wow, how many? Around here, hello, Grammar. Let me get you here. Don't need you right now. I can wait. Thunder, nice. I don't know if we already have that. That's going to be a Pokemon. No, it's a battle. Okay. Fine. The time of the night. Na that's actually time based. That's just. For a chance to catch it. Out of interest then, let's see how good it is. I mean, I really shouldn't be wasting Pokeballs on it. <laughs> In fact, you know what? I'm not going to waste Pokeballs on it. <laughs> There's a Zapdos to catch in here. <laughs> Hello, need you. So, both my one this was. I'm pretty sure one of these used to be. Uh... But I got one reach, that's fine. Single throw catch, that's uh, not going to be a good one. Good, let's gobble those now. I don't think there's too many Pokemon that need them either, so we've probably got enough stones to get one of every Pokemon. Apart from the Moonstones, which just don't seem to appear, appear obvious. Like the turn, in case we don't have one manually. What about Sask and Relay Trade? I don't want to bother about that. We get Voltorb there. Absolutely fall out of these mission controls. Wasting my pokeballs. There we go. Right, I see, so we have to flick it. I should probably wait until after Zapdos, really. But never mind. I feel like we have enough. Grammar. 
Grimer. But electricity. Wow, you're easy to find, won't you, Zaptos? Oh. Left on the way out, okay. Let's explore around this. This is actually quite quick for an area. Which I say, as areas go. So I guess we'll save right here. This guy's actually pretty quick to get to, so if we need to go get more Pokeballs, that's not an issue. I don't think it's going to be timed. Some pretty cool imagery there. I have to say. Oh, some stats for us. None of those are going to be good, are they? Oh, we've got something good against you. I haven't got anyone that's good against you. <laughs> this Nidic King would have been great. Especially Smash, we've got five minutes. Wow, you can't even think about anything. See how much difference this makes. Oh, it's a sort of pin up. Oh, there it is. It's a raspberry. <laughs> Still red. Really? Catch those grammar. Mm. Mm. Okay, so that's pretty much the end of this episode. How long are we on? We're on 13 minutes. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to see if we can go ahead and find the Moonstone. Now, apparently, we should be able to find one with a Pokemon following us. Alright, so let's go and see if we can get the Moonstone. Obviously, I'm probably going to use the If we do happen to find one here, I am going to use the footage from this video. to create um, a location video for the Moonstone, just because that's going to be great. But I've got a lot of things I need to chain catch, which is fine. We've got lots of cash, we can get loads of uh, Ultra Balls. Um, I definitely need to get high with Grimer, because I think I want a good Grimer, and I definitely need to get high with Execute, because I'm definitely having Execute in the, in the party. <laughs> or should I say Executor. And I will need to get high with Nidoran, so that's three Pokemon that I need at least 60 Pokeballs for <laughs> if, if I want to get anywhere. So that leaves me with that's gonna that's 
No, although actually we're pretty close to, to the 180 that that would require require at that point. That's lovely. Um, and so this brings up the point that I was saying earlier about selling all of my standard pickles. Where are they? Can I sell them? I can. There we go, cash them in. Um, cash them in. There we are. Now what I think I might do is bulk upon great balls. If I just need Nidoran, he should be pretty easy to catch. And that's the perfect number, right? So if I want to catch a ton of Nidoran, I can use great balls for that. And then I can use ultra balls for anything harder. I think it's a much better amount of pickles. I don't feel like that's, we've, we've lost that many. I suppose there's 320 sand pickles, but let's have a look here. 193 and 77. I really, really want to know what happens if you miss that massive ball. Does it come back? Because it's meant to be auto catch, right? I'm saving it from YouTube. Uh. So we've got over 200 balls, so we're good. We're golden, actually. Um, let's just go and see if we can find this. If happens to be a man, I might catch that as well. That's only, that's only a great ball. It's apparently that spawns around here, so... I'll just fill a... A Pokedex slot. Now, I don't know why, I feel like I caught a man, but... I obviously didn't. It's because I went looking for it in the, in the place where it doesn't spawn anymore. Come on, Dragonair. Now, th there is a temptation to get some of this all done. Because... I'm going to need to level up my party. Quite significantly, I think, before we go to the Elite Four. Um, or, unless, unless I bring some of the other Pokemon back in. Oh, hello. This is why we need a Pokemon out, right? Do I, talk, do I, do I hit you? And add berry. I guess this is what I should be doing if I wanted good berries, right? Um, now, apparently, these um, moonstones only spawn daily in real world time. So, apparently, it is still tracking like daily things uh, and time related stuff on Pokemon, which is interesting. Now, apparently, they're meant to spawn in here. So, we're going to take a look at this. Oh, not on you. That's what I want to do. Oops, not there. Okay. Um, it's clearly been more than a day since I was last in here, so... We should get one, basically. I'm assuming it's one per visit, as well, then. Um, which makes me think that maybe it spawns in a certain place. Aha! Okay. So what I actually need to do before I make a video about this is have that appear again, right? But at least we found ourselves a moonstone. So now I can actually go ahead and start creating myself a nice strong Nidder King. We need technically three more for for uh Pokedex reasons. Now I'm gonna go check ahead and check the rest because who knows, right? There might, might be more in, in other ones, but if it is specifically there that it spawns and we need one a day, then that's worth knowing, right? Um, I am going to fully exit the cave and come back in see if it does respawn as well. Stardust. Oh, wow, okay. Cool, so there are a lot of items that just spawn in these craters. But the Pokemon isn't detecting them. There's two, okay, so it's not just one per visit, it's just random. 
because I have checked that before. Um, in fact, I'm pretty sure I checked that on, on the video when we first came through. So, that literal one right there. So it's random and it resets daily. Right. Got it. Um, so that's cool. Let's go and see if we can find any more. Oh, we want the way to do it. I'm busy. I'm busy. Stop it. No, I don't want to drag it. No. Maybe I'm trying it. So you're just kind of press in the middle, and then it tells you whether or not something there. That's fine. All worth knowing. Would be worth catching for XP, technically. I'm fine for now. I guess technically Nidaking and Grimer are. Uh, oops, sorry, leave me alone. I know you're really happy with me right now. So maybe we should stand the ladders then. There's very little spawning anywhere else. Oh, no, we did actually get the one on the top, top floor as well, didn't we? Okay. Hmm. So to farm Moonstone then, you basically need to come in here daily and hit up all the craters. Let me get the memo duck, the uh, <laughs> team rocket is dead. Right. So that, so what's that? So that's going to be in this episode, guys. In the next one, we're going to be going through Victory Road. So that's pretty much everything done. So we've got some Pokemon tied up. Um, just realised that Eevee actually spawns down here, and that is something that is searched apparently. So I'm going to have to make a, a short video on that at some point. Maybe now while I'm thinking that. No, no, no. We're just going to head. We're going to head straight over this way. Uh, obviously, we are prepped and ready to, to catch a few Pokemon at a good level. I definitely want to get a good Grimer, a good Nidoran, and a good. I can't remember one was. Good Grimer, good Nidoran. I could get a Magnemite. I think that's what I was thinking, but no, we're not doing that. Right, cool. So, in the next one, guys, we're going to be taking on Victory Road. Um, catch you next time for that. See you then.